Hi, I'm Lily. Today, I'm going to tell you Matthew chapter 5. Okay, I'm going to start. Okay, five minutes limited. Okay, let's start on. Now, when he saw the crowds, he went out when the mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying, Pass to the poor spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Pass to those who move, for they will be comforted. Pass to the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Best are those who hunger, and there is for righteousness, for they will be filled. Best are the merciful, for they will show mercy. Best are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Best are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insert you, persecute you, and force to say all kinds of evil against you because of me. We do send be God, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the swords of the earth, but if the sword you lose it, that sword it is, how can it be made sword again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the light of the world, a city and a hill to Mount Behaven. Neither the people allowed a lamb and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the Lord the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least struggle of a pen, will by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. Anyone who breaks one of the list of these commandments and teaches others to the same will be called list in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches this command will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you that your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. You will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to the people long ago, Do not do not murder, and any of the murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with his brother will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to his brother Raka is answerable to the senator. Therefore, but anyone who says you fool will be in danger of the fire hell. Therefore, if you're offering your gift to adulterer, and you remember that your father has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar, or go and be reconciled to your brother, then come and offer your gift. Celebrate us quickly with your advisor who is taking you to court. Do you want yourself with him on the way, or he may hand you over to the judge, and the judge may hand you over to the officer, and you may be thrown into prison. I tell you the truth, you will not get out until you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was sad. Do not come in a dirt tree. For I tell you that anyone who looks at her most lustfully has already committed adultery with her and his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, go you down and throw it away. It is, better for, it is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it up and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go to hell. It has been said, anyone who divorces his wife must give her a certificate of divorce. But I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife, except for marital unfaithfulness, causes her to become an adulteress, and any of the marriage that divorced a woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, Do not break your oath, but keep the oath that you have made to the Lord. But I tell you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it is his mature, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one day your water back. Simply the letter, yes, yes, and you know, no, and the on this comes from the evil one. You have heard that it was said, I have right and tooth for tooth, but I tell you, do not resist the name of a person. If someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other so, and if someone wants to see you and take your tunny, let him ever cloak as well. If someone forces you to go a mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who asks you, and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing among others to not even pay those to that?
be perfect, therefore, as your Heavenly Father is perfect. Thank you. Bye.